making space clutter free. So you get about 300 pages, four parts, 11 chapters total. Um, you get an epilogue and some resources, basically some sites and companies to have a look at. Um, it's so, it's so much similar, similar to other kind of like organization decluttering type of books. It's not like the Miri Kondo type of thing. Does this spark joy? Not everyone is going to find that system helpful. <laughs> so to me, this um, kind of like straightforward kind of thing about like decluttering different aspects of it different phases of your life type of thing um but this book is more going into um seven seven emotional clutter blocks um and it's like what type of clutter emotional clutter block do you have or like um you could have a few of these like two or three of these kind of be you um so like what are they where do they come from so like um and she does explain them so like clear block one is my stuff keeps me in the past um my stuff tells me who i am kind of thing so and you get like the clues of um the clutter, the, the clutter block, and um, a helpful phrase for that um, block as well. So, and it does go through, um, it's by Tracy McGubin, I didn't say it <laughs> at the beginning, but um, she does go through like different rooms, the different rooms, and she does go through like um, experiences with clients and everything. Um, so, part two is like getting down to it. So, um, you're like creating a vision board, taking a like, um, how do you want your space to look? Take a photo like the before and after. Um, you could take a few shots like in between. Um, that planning your purge having snacks and breaks, so don't do it like all in one go type of thing, plan it out. Um, part three, arriving and thriving. So time management, teamwork, again, planning it out, maintenance, um, con conscious consumption about it. Um, so, and in each part she does go through the like different rooms. Um, in these so um, how to halt the clutter creep how to tell if this might be a challenge so like cost debt need versus want so the typical kind of things you would um, hear in um, decluttering type of um, books or websites quality versus quantity so, and part four deals with um, life's big changes. So, like, moving, um, decluttering after death or divorce. So, um, it goes, it talks on to that. Um, I've read a few other kind of, like, cleaning, organizing books, and it kind of doesn't talk about, like, it talks about, like, sentimental items, but it does, like, I haven't seen it, like, oh, if you're just coming out of divorce, how do you deal with this stuff, um, deal with it? Um, so, like, um, talking to a real estate agent and, um, paring down type of thing, but paring down could, like, be with a lot of different parts of your life, but, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. There's a few diff, not a whole lot of um, resources. You do get a few. It's divided up into a few different sections with um, two or three different um, sites for you, or places um, that you could donate to or, or whatever. So um, the last few resources 
um, do get a little longer, but um, you do get a senior downsizing guide at the end, so, but I guess you could adjust that depending on the situation, I guess, but yeah, um, and like if you're wanting something different other than the Marie Kondo type of book, um, this could be an interesting book for you to have a look at. So yeah, making space clutter-free. Happy readings.